Hey folks, how's it going? Much like Mulani, Fei Zhao too, took a little bit to get fixed up. Uh, farming her new set was no easy task, but finally she has some decent base stats in here, while also keeping up the 140 plus speed. This is both for her and March 7th, which is yet another unit I've been working on a little bit. As for Fei Zhao, she had to steal the Cruising in the Stellar Sea straight off of Sele's hands, but let's be honest, Sele hasn't even used this in months at this point. Races is all maxed out, and Relics, this has been the hardest piece to actually get. Because before this, I was using a speed one with basically zero substats. Still, a pretty decent head. That's some um, alright gloves with high crit rate. I could go with crit damage, thankfully, another bit of crit rate down here. And lastly, some horrible boots with two crit values. That is sadly it. Can't really replace these things. And these are actually the best boots I've ever gotten uh, farming that domain basically since Fei Zhao came out. I've also been crafting a lot of these. Yeah, RNG hasn't really been on my side with these. This has been torture. As for her planner ornaments, 11% crit rate on wind damage, again the new ones, as well as 23% crit damage on an attack one. Uh, still, the one stat I would want a little bit more of would be attack. 2.6k does feel a little bit low, but considering crit rate goes to 96% against enemies below 50% HP, and the fact that this is a pretty damn high crit, uh, crit damage stat to start with, and she gets a lot more from her own buff from March 7th and from Robin, I don't think I can really complain about these stats. So, to finally test her out properly, let's bring her against the Apocalyptic Shadow. Eventually, we're going to meet with Fei Zhao and March 7th, while for Pantilia, we're bringing Tangled Chaos. More brick damage, more stacks. For this one, looks like they went... Uh, they wanted to have a little bit of fun. Because the only dice we can break are the dice with the lowest number. Until we break enough to get our own stacks up to 40, how much is that? 48, 49? 49. <laughs> That's the first one down. And I am never going to get tired of that ultimate. Uh, next, we have the 12 open. Well, this gun. And just like always, we should have the Robin ultimate. Ready before him. Ah, uh, there we go. We can steal a turn. Up to 50, he becomes vulnerable. He gets broken down, and we all steal a second turn too. Buff up her normal attack. And we should be able to take him down completely, at least the entire first phase. Uh, do I want to waste the ultimate now? 
If I don't waste the ultimate now, I can use it on the summons on phase 2. Ah, yeah, let's save it. Only 3% HP left. Might as well. Another really nice part is that she's completely immune to his energy reduction. Uh, let's go with the ultimate first, take this one down. In, we have a nice times two here. And I can steal one more turn. Good aventure is not going to have fun here. Okay, 28. There's a 10 down here. Ah, uh, break, but it might not kill. Uh, just in case he's going to reduce our energy once again. And let's take down the 30. He'll need to be broken. A bit unfortunate that we don't get any high numbers. And TT 75. And 90. Sadly, he gets to move. Okay, that's the 75 done. And now we are against him. Uh, he should still get broken. Yeah, we have another turn with March 7. Buff up. We're going to get another uh, big attack turn soon. Uh, yeah, for the energy. Okay, March 7th moves forward. Fantastic. But uh, this is where I also want to steal another turn. <laughs> Let's go, Robin. <laughs> and now we can basically do two ultimates back to back. Are they even going to be needed? <laughs> Jesus. And down he goes. 1.5k action value left. As for Pantia, yeah, she's pretty easy as well. <laughs> It's mostly just a matter of taking care of the black flowers. Because <laughs> the white ones increase your damage a little bit, but since most of what we're doing is just break damage, taking down the black ones is going to be a little bit better. Okay. Firefly, 
Honestly, I'm still trying to decide whether to just stick with Gallagher and get myself a link shot. The most uh, juicy aspect about her, outside the fact that she looks like Fukushi from Monkey Impact 3rd and that's really damn cute, is going to be the um, clear. I've been struggling with debuffs for a very long time. I would love to be able to put my hands on a character that finally clears and clears debuffs a lot. <laughs> but at the same time, I don't have that many resources and 3.0 is approaching. So I don't really know what to do at this point. <laughs> There's our break. <laughs> It's like, realistically, how much better can this team even get? And to phase 2 we go. Now Gallagher comes out pretty medium fast. Uh, yeah, we need to take some of these flowers down, otherwise her damage is going to be higher. Not to mention, we steal some buffs too. Hold it. Uh, not really gonna break anything, still likely going to move afterwards, but... We need to try and get a little bit of health back up. Okay, and this should be about it. And one more turn with Firefly. Ah, misclicked. It wasn't really necessary. I percent the Gallagher should take care of her. Okay, cool. Another 7k total score. 
Honestly, fairly easy to get max scores, especially considering that most of these units are as free to play as you can possibly get. But I do value collection more than I value meta. Don't really pull for constellations, don't really pull for weapons. Entire history of Honkai Star Rail, she's the only one who has got her signature light cone. And she's likely going to be the only one, at least until we get characters like Yana. But still, mm. I do value collection more than I value meta, which is why I ended up with Jade as well. And even if you're just following collection with some pretty average relics, I think you can get by quite fine. I uh, haven't had any issue in Memory of Chaos, haven't had any issue here in the Thick Shadow. And even if you skip a few characters here and there, I think progress is still fine. Next, we're going to have a Pure Fiction reset in a couple of days, and honestly, can't wait. Because this is where I'm going to bring my Jade uh, back out to shine. As always, thanks a lot for watching, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and see you guys around soon. Ciao!